Welcome to the Board Game Design Lab tutorial series, a proud member of the Dice Tower Network. I will be your host, Chris Perea. In this series, we'll give you, the designers, the tools and information you need to get your ideas from concept into digital prototype and more. In this episode, I will show you how to install Steam, make a Steam account, then we'll get Tabletop Simulator downloaded, and I will show you some of the cool things you can do with Tabletop Simulator. This is an introductory course to Steam and Tabletop Simulator, and will be the basis for the rest of the series as we focus on Tabletop Simulator to bring your game to life. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up your internet browser. And we're going to navigate on over to store.steampowered.com. This will bring up the Steam front page. What we're interested in is actually getting Steam installed. So we're going to go right up here to the top right, this green button that says Install Steam. Now this will bring us over to this page here. And there's another green button that says Install Steam Now. now if you click that, it'll download the steamsetup.exe file. Go ahead and run that. And it'll ask you, is, do you want to allow this to make changes to your computer? Go ahead and hit yes. And go ahead and go through the install phase, where you want to install it, etc, etc. Now after it's installed, let's go ahead and open it. And this should be what it looks like when you first open it, because you don't have a Steam account yet, you're not automatically logging in. So what you need to do is, if you don't have a Steam account, go ahead and click on Create New Account. Now it'll bring up this box here, so you can choose your account name, password, put in your email address, and do the capture there. Once that's all filled out, go ahead and verify and log in with your new username and password. Now once you get logged in, you will be brought to the store homepage similar to the website that we visited. So if you go up to the top right here and type in Tabletop Simulator into the search, It'll bring up the Tabletop Simulator Store page. Now from this page you can see the description, watch some videos on it and stuff like that. Now you are going to have to purchase Tabletop Simulator. It's only 20 bucks unless it's on sale, the Steam sale or something like that. It's highly worth it and this series is going to start out using Tabletop Simulator for a few reasons and we'll get into those a little bit later when we actually start designing the game. Now we do know Tabletop Tabletopia is free, and we will get into that further down in the series. Right now we want to focus on Tabletop Simulator for some reasons that we'll get into later. So go ahead and add that to your cart, and go to your cart, and go ahead and add your payment method, purchase it for yourself, and add it to your Steam library. Now at the end of the purchase page you'll see a link to install now. You can click that, install it where you like, and get it downloading. If you click past that page for some reason, go ahead and go up to the top left here, click on Library, and go to Games. Now if you just got Tabletop Simulator, just made an account, the only thing you'll have in this list is Tabletop Simulator. If you've had your account for a little while, you'll have many more games than just Tabletop Simulator. So if you didn't manage to install it off the store page, you can install it here in your library page. This button, the play button I have on Tabletop Simulator, will say install instead. You can click that, choose where you want to install your game, and install it. Now, After you already got it installed, go ahead and hit play. And this box will pop up and ask you what version of Tabletop Simulator you want to run. I always just run the regular one. If you have a VR headset though, please run it in VR. It's amazing. DirectX 11 is the same game, just rendered under a different engine, doesn't change anything. I always just play the regular one anyways. Now once this loads, I'm going to show you a few things in Tabletop Simulator. So to start out, you can join a game of somebody else's game and browse people's games that they're hosting and play with them with the join button. Now if you want to just explore Tabletop Simulator and see what it can do, you can go to Create, and you get three options. You can either create a single player game for just yourself to play around in Tabletop Simulator, you can create a multiplayer game to host a game for other people to join, 
that's going to be how we're going to host your game to get playtesters in and play it. We'll get into that later in the series. Now Hot Seat you can also do on your own computer if you only have one copy. And what that allows you to do is play a multiplayer game from one computer and one seat. So it'll switch off. It'll ask you player one, go ahead and sit down, you hit OK, take your turn, get up, swap places, player two will start his turn, back and forth. Super handy for testing at home. If you don't have anybody on Steam at the time or you want to show somebody at your house, it's over your game that you designed. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do single player. Now there's a few options in the single player menu. We got the classic that is the default built-in games and tabletop simulator. I'm sure you recognize a lot of these. And you can go ahead and play these with your friends, whatever you want, and go from there. Now, the second tab is DLC. Now you probably are looking at the list and go, hey, I recognize those games. And it's true, these are the full release board games that you can play digitally with anybody across the world on Tabletop Simulator. These are paid for DLC, so you'll have to buy the game in Tabletop Simulator, but your friends do not have to buy it. Only you have to buy it, and you can host the game and play these games with your friends. Now if we go back, the third option, the blue one here, is Workshop. Now the Workshop is where you can browse other people's games that they've uploaded, you can subscribe to other designers or other games that people are making, and this is also where you're going to host your own game that you made. So in this list, I actually have a game I'm working on myself, and one of them that I'm going to show you through the series, how I did it, how I got it on here, some of the tips and tricks I used to help you get your game on here. So in this game, we got a bunch of the standard pieces. We got three different decks. We got a bunch of tokens we can move around. We got some in-game pieces that you can move around as well. We got three different boards in my game, and we also got snap points to hold cards in order and keep everything organized. We got infinite bags over here. And a bag with tokens in it as well. Also got our dice. And a tablet to show your rule book. Now this rule book is tied to my Google Drive account that I can update the rule book as I want without having to update Tabletop Simulator. So when you make changes to your rule book and update it, people can see those as they happen, as you update them and upload it without having to reprint anything either. So, later on in the series, I'm going to show you how to design a game very similar to this and get your game on Tabletop Simulator with a few cool tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified of new uploads, and listen to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts at. Get in touch with the community over at our Facebook page or talk with other designers in our Discord channel. All the links at BoardGameDesignLab.com or in the description below.